let's start by talking about like, what is an anxious attachment? How can we recognize it and how does it affect us? Yeah. So anxious attachment stems from uh, attachment theory, which was developed by John Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth. And so they talk about how our early relationships with our caregivers creates a sense of bond and it falls along a spectrum from insecure to secure. So we have insecure, anxious, insecure, avoidant, uh, insecure, ambivalent. So kind of like a mixture of both of these. And then we have the secure attachment style. So the anxious component is when we had inconsistent caregiving and we didn't know whether we were going to be cared for, whether we were going to be loved. And so we had to develop kind of a coping strategy, which was, well, then I have to seek it or I have to cling to it or I have to you know, just um, how do I get this need met? I have to really seek it. I really have to make sure that I'm being comforted. And then on the other end of that is the avoidant attachment style, which is that we cope or we learn to deal with this by just not really having that need or suppressing that need for closeness or for um, intimate, vulnerable relationships. So those are kind of, you know, on both ends of the spectrum. And when it comes to anxious attachment style, um, I'm sure we can offer some tips in terms of how to deal with that one. I mean, one of the biggest tips is knowing what you're dealing with, right? right. And we, we used to think that people only had attachment issues uh, in childhood. And we're learning now that our brains develop and continue to change during every stage. And even relationships that you had in your early adulthood can really shape who you are and how you love and how you respond to your environment. 